Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the cantilever jib crane is used to support the slope if the trolley T can be placed anywhere between 1.5 feet and 7.5 feet on the distance X. Determine the maximum magnitude of reaction at the supports A and B. You got to know that the colors can rotate freely about the vertical axis, which means that the color at B supports a vertical reaction, but the color at A does not. Now, let's draw the free body diagram. It's basically telling us that when we load this, B can have a, a horizontal reaction. So if I apply a force this way that's going to try and turn the whole unit clockwise which means that B would have most likely a force going to the left. B also has a reaction going up because the weight is trying to pull it down and A only has a horizontal reaction and we know that since B is going to the left A is the only other one to make up for it going to the right. I'm going to call this F of A. I'm going to call this f of b of x, and I'm going to call this f of b of y. Now, the trolley can be placed anywhere at this distance x from 1.5 to 7.5 feet. Now, what are the maximum magnitudes of reaction? So, we know that we have a couple of variables. We have f of b of x, <coughs> excuse me, f of b of y, and f of a. And we know that we can eliminate two by doing the moments of a b. So let's do that. Some of the moments at B is equal to zero. I'm going to assume counterclockwise is positive. And this is interesting. Look, I'm going to call this 780 the weight, okay? So we have the weight going down. I mean, I'm sorry, the weight. I'm here, right? And the weight is trying to turn it the unit clockwise, so it's negative, times the distance from here to here. Now, this distance is given by x plus the moment generated by f of a, which is trying to turn the whole unit counterclockwise, trying to make up for what the weight is doing. And it is equal to f of a times the distance from b to a, which is four. Now, if we solve for f of a, we get that f of a is equal to, we got to plug in the 784 w, of course, and we get that f of a is equal to 780x over four or is equal to 185x. Notice that x is equal to anywhere between 1.5 and 7.5 feet. And the bigger the x, the bigger the reaction at f of a. Just keep that in mind for now. Now, let's find um, f of b of x, which is very easy to find since it's the only other horizontal uh, force in this diagram. So some of the forces at x is equal to zero and it is equal to f of b of x going to the left plus f of a. So this means that f of b of x is equal to f of a and again this means that f of b of x is equal to 195x. And again notice the bigger the x the bigger f of b of x reaction it is. So this is all pointing that the maximum reaction is going to be at 7.5. And let's solve for the reaction, the vertical reaction at f of b, which is some of the forces in the y is equal to zero. And we know that f of b of y, let's put zero equals to f of b of y, uh, sorry, uh, this is plus minus, this is a minus, I swear, uh, the weight. So you know that f of b of y is equal to the weight. So f of b of y would always be equal to 780 pounds. <clears throat> so f of b of y is unchanged. And f of b of x gets bigger as x gets bigger. So I would say that the maximum load is at f of a is equal to 195 times 7.5, which is the maximum length of x. 
which means that that is equal to uh, 14 62.5 pounds for f of a f of b of x is the same as f of a so it's also equal to 1462.5 pounds and f of b of y is 780 so we just have to solve for the magnitude of f of b and that is super easy to do because it's equal to the square root of f of b of f of b of x square plus f of b of y square so you gotta plug this number in and this number in and you should get that the magnitude the maximum magnitude for f of b is equal to 1657.05 pounds and final answer for the maximum magnitude of b and the maximum magnitude of a is 1462.5 pounds because it only has a horizontal component and again these are the maximums because if you were to make x less than 7.5 then all these numbers would go down except of course f of b of y that one would go down but f of the magnitude of f of b and the f of a and f of b of x would go down as x goes down that's why this is the final answer and this is the final answer